Hey, Hart fans, welcome. How you doing? This is Butch Hartman, obviously, or <laughs> hopefully you know it's me because you clicked on the channel here. I'm just drawing a little picture of Jack Jack from The Incredibles. What do you guys think? There's Jack Jack. Do you guys want this drawing? Should I give this? Should I give it away? Yeah, do it. How do we give it away? What do we do? Okay, if you want the drawing, what do I say? How, how do we give the drawing away? Do we have like a Butch Hartman trivia contest? How about I know I know what to do. Okay. Right. okay, finalize that. Hey, I love uh, I love drawing uh, any superhero, and I've never drawn Jack Jack before, so that was a lot of fun. Hey, do you guys do you guys want this drawing? Should I give this drawing away? Or how about I give copies of the drawing away? You want a copy, an actual copy of this drawing? I know you can make one on the internet probably, but I would maybe I could do another copy because I really like this drawing. But maybe I could do another copy of uh, Jack Jack for you. How about this? We should have a contest, right? Yeah, do it. Right, cameraman Jay Steele? Yeah, that's right. What if we did this? What if we do some fan art? Okay, how about this? Do some heart fan art, hashtag heart fan art, and draw Butch Hartman in The Incredibles. Draw me in The Incredibles. Best heart fan art piece gets the drawing. Extra points if you do a CGI version of Butch Hartman in The Incredibles, extra points and the drawing. Okay, that'd be kind of cool. Let's do it. Let's do this. I just slammed it emphatically. Let's do this. The Incredibles 2 is coming out. And I I never thought it would happen. It was almost like waiting for the Phantom Menace. Like the, the Star Wars, you know, three Star Wars movies come out. The last one's in 1983. Then Phantom Menace comes out in 1999. 16, gosh, wait. Yeah, 16, 17 years later. And now here we are with The Incredibles 2, 14 years after the debut of the first one in 2004. I was already deeply into being an adult. I was, I was shaving by then. It was so exciting and I love The Incredibles. I think it's my favorite Pixar movie. I really, really do. There's been some amazing Pixar movies. I mean, I loved Finding Nemo. I love Monsters, Inc. Uh, I even love Bugs Life and Toy Story, of course, all three Toy Stories, but I really, truly love um, the Incredibles, because number one, I'm a superhero freak. But there have been some bad superhero movies, but this one was, I think it's right up there with any Marvel movie. It's just a fantastic movie. Not only is the movie coming out, but they released a teaser a few months back uh, of uh, The Incredibles, the, the trailer, and little Jack-Jack comes out with the little lasers in his eyes, and it's a very short little teaser. But there's a brand new, tra is it a trailer now? It's like a TV spot. A TV spot, okay, we've, uh, it's a TV spot. I think it says here it is a, um, a sneak peek. A sneak peek. So the incredible sneak peek has come out. It's a minute thirty something seconds. I'm gonna watch it and react. So, but before I do, let me go into something here. So, let's see. What am I expecting out of this trailer? I'm expecting. Um, I have no idea what to expect even of the story. I don't even know where the story picks up. I know that at the la at the end of the Incredibles. The Incredibles had just kind of reunited as a family. We revealed Jack. Jack has powers. They've defeated Syndrome. They defeated the Omnidroid, the big round uh, monster thing. And then they're, everything's fine, everything's dandy. And then um, the Underminer comes up from the, from the bowels of the earth. The when something comes from the bowels, you know it's bad. So the Underminer comes up from the bowels of the earth and then uh, the Incredibles all put their masks on and that's the end of the movie. So do they pick up from there? Do they pick up 10 years later? Is Jack-Jack grown up? I don't, I, or 10, year, 10 years old? I don't even know, so let's check this out. Well, let's watch the Incredibles trailer and then we'll analyze. Also, what am I, okay, what am I expecting out of this? I'm expecting the same retro look, of course. It's gonna be there, Mr. Brad Bird's Amazing Direction. Love Brad Bird, love, I love just about everything Brad Bird has done. I was rooting for Tomorrowland, man. I really wanted to love Tomorrowland. I love the trailer. I wanna, I wanna see Tomorrowland be remade and be even better. Um, I love, I love Iron Giant, by the way. Love Iron Giant, love, uh, love that. And I, I really wanna see, oh, and also the incredible music by Michael Giacchino. Uh, Giacchino sounds like a topping you get on your pizza. Like, you know, you get like pepperoni, little Giacchino, little jalapeno. That's what it sounds like. Anyway, great music there. And I am looking forward to seeing some new superheroes or maybe some old ones brought back. What do you think? Remember Gazer Beam, the, the dead superhero down in the cave? He had like the Cyclops laser beam out of his eye. Gazer Beam, very cool name. And uh, I know Edna Mode, I'm, I'm sure she'll be back. I've seen posters around town with Edna Mode on them. So I'm just, I'm just psyched. I'm very psyched. And I love all the Incredibles. I love all their personalities. My favorite, I think, is Dash. Because that sequence in The Incredibles was one of my favorite sequences when he's running real fast on the water and the guys in like the buzzsaw ships are chasing him. And that music in that sequence was so super cool. I really, really dug it. Also, I got to hand it to Brad Bird. Way to, uh, way to uh, utilize CG to its fullest back then because they were all in a jungle and the jungle background was easy to replicate. <laughs> there weren't a lot of buildings or detail. So just having plants behind you is uh, probably a lot easier than doing a lot of detailed backgrounds. Anyway, a little inside information from an animator guy. All right, so here we go. Oh, the Underminer! Watch out for Jack 
Jack. Oh, we're starting right there. Okay. You heard your mother trampolini. Love it, love the Superheroes are illegal. We awesome. want to fight bad guys. I don't need bad guys. It defines who <laughs> I am. We're not saying you have. What? Someone on TV said it. I was approached by this tycoon. There's Most Rozo. Talk about hero stuff. Help me bring supers back into the sunlight. We oh, need that's um... Elastigirl. Bye, sweetie. Bye. I'll watch the kids, no problem. Very nice. Supposed to do it, Dad. The they want so us to do it. This I don't way. know that way. Why like would they change book? math? Math is math. Math, okay, math is math. All over Dusseldorf. Dussels are dozing. I look so heavy. They're trooping. Mm. The character. Close it. So I couldn't have done nice. this if you hadn't taken over so well. I've got to succeed. Right, so Elastigirl so goes can off succeed. on her own. Yes. So we can succeed. I get it, Bob. What the? That is for power. But I can't keep giving him cookies. Oh! Uh, no demon powers. Demon powers. Nice. Right? Done properly, parenting is a heroic act. Done properly. <laughs> All right, cool. I get it. So it's Mr. Mom with Mr. Incredible. Very cool. Um... Okay, funny. I, I can't say a bad thing about it. I think it looks great. Let's break it down for a second. So, okay, so it's all about him, Mr. Incredible, uh, being a stay-at-home dad, so Elastigirl can be um, elevated to a hero position. So I have a feeling the bad guy is that corporate guy. Maybe that's, that's Bob Odenkirk's voice. I can tell right away uh, from Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad. Um, love him on those shows. He's great. Super funny guy. I've, I've followed his career for many, many years. I actually met him once. Really nice guy. Um, it looks cool. I want to see some more superhero stuff. Okay, apparently it picks up where the Underminer comes up at the end of the first movie. That's that's where it picks up. The animation looks... Here's what I love about cartoons. Those it, It's been 14 years, but none of them have aged a day. None of them have aged a day. I have, but they haven't. So, you know, it's really not fair. But it looks great. And uh, superheroes are still illegal. So doing any hero stuff is obviously against the law. So how does Elastigirl become a hero without being arrested maybe the corporate guy maybe unless you're sponsored by a corporate a corporate entity you can be a superhero or like a spokesman or something obviously the, uh, that guy's up to no good I would imagine and wants to exploit her must be some kind of an enemy I wonder who it is could be the enemy I don't even know I wonder if it's an old enemy if they've set it up already that's interesting it's been 14 years okay I'm going to say this I will say this that looks great. I can't wait to see it. I want to see more. It's one of those trailers that, wants, that makes you want to see more because it's all about the domestic stuff and the comedy. Just the scene where Jack Jack is on Mr. Incredible's shoulder and he's reading the book and falling asleep. Very cool. That's where. That's what's great about movies like this is the comedy comes from the characters, which is a thing everybody should shoot for. It's always about the character. But um, for me, I'm such a nerd. I want to see the superhero stuff too. But um, I'm thinking, what was I about to say? I was about to say something. Super genius. Where's the head? It was about, um, oh, I know what it is. But see, I don't want to get Star Wars on this movie. And what I mean by that is this. Return of the Jedi comes out in 1983. It's the last of three Star Wars movies. Everybody's hyped up. And then we wait 17 years for Phantom Menace. And we got Phantom Menace. And so I'm hoping this isn't the Phantom Menace. I have a feeling it won't be. I don't see how it could be because Brad Bird's behind it and Pixar's behind it. And it's an incredible, get it, incredible story already. But... I'm really hoping that uh, it, it's fantastic. It looks great. I'm, I'm excited. You guys excited about this? What are some of your favorite moments in the Incredibles movie? What are you looking forward to seeing in this movie? Which one of the Incredibles is your favorite? And would Butch Hartman himself make a great Incredible? I'm just saying, when I heard it was called Incredibles 2, I'm like, what? There are, there are two Incredible Butch Hartmans out there? I didn't even know. Wait. When I heard it was called Incredibles 2, I'm like, what? It's a movie about two Butch Hartmans? And <laughs> that's what I... Okay, never mind. Uh, obviously, these jokes aren't so incredible. Um, all right, so very cool. Looking forward to it. I can't wait. You know what's great about this, too? They didn't change, like, they didn't, like, take the original and ruin it. It looks like they're going to really stay true to the original movie and just give us all those same feels, feels, that we, uh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to give us all those same feels, feels, which is a term that didn't exist back then. Um, when the first movie came out uh, that we had when we watched the first movie. What's cool about this, too, 2004 technology is way different than 2018 technology. So they kind of put 2018 technology into this movie and it will feel like it's always been there because it's always like, it's like a day later than the first movie. Very, very clever. 
All right. I'm psyched about Incredibles 2. I want to see the next trailer that comes out. Do you guys want to see me review the next trailer? Do you like these trailer reviews? Let me know down in the comment section below if you want to see me review more trailers like this. I am so psyched about Incredibles. Can't wait and uh, really looking forward to it. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in. And don't forget, art gives you power. Use it wisely. Hey, heart fans. Subscribe here to keep up with me, Danny, Timmy, Dudley, Bunsen, and the Noob Network, my new app full of cartoons, shows, and games. Download it here. Click over here to watch my most recent video and here to start a playlist related to this video. Whoa, check out that awesome fan art. To be featured here, use hashtag heartfanart and tag me. I'm on every social media platform known to man. Cartoon Butch out. Pencil drop.